from Town Hall 1 to Town Hall 17, welcome and welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans, it is your host Galadon, and today's episode is kind of different because it's true, Supercell intentionally has broken Clash of Clans, uh, and, and it seems to be working. Okay, now what the big picture is here is we all need to remember that there are many, many players out there of many different Town Halls, the average player somewhere around Town Hall 12, and many different skill levels. And this was really interesting when it comes to a statement that came from one of the members of the Clash of Clans Supercell design team who said, and I paraphrase, that they intentionally made Town Hall 15 harder for attackers and in turn made Town Hall 16 easier. And the craziest thing is this was all done as a long-term study looking into players and what made them happy and more importantly, what makes them play Clash more often? What will get them to continue playing and to play more? Well, it turns out, and this kind of follows common sense, if the game is a little bit easier, players are happier and they play more. Now, of course, we have to go back to the old saying, you can't make everybody happy all of the time. You can't please everybody all, whatever that saying is, but you get the point, right? Obviously, there's always going to be players that are happy, players that are upset, and every range of the spectrum exists in every meta. We also have to remember that if you're watching this video, you're likely above average, but not necessarily a professional player. I mean, how many pros need to watch Galadon videos, let's be honest. So the Clash team said that, yes, of course, there's a massive range of player skill that exists in the game, and it's going to be extremely difficult to get the balance just right. Perhaps they do need to put in some sort of pro mode so that the game is fun for the average player, like I'm gonna say you and I, okay, for me, yet the professionals aren't out there three-starring every single base. And so that is that balance they're trying to achieve. But what I'm saying is they've admitted that they basically intentionally broke the game at Town Hall 16, but by breaking it, they of course made the game more fun, right? Yes, you have to admit, unless you're out there three-starring every base, and you're probably not, or failing every attack, and you're probably not, you're probably having more fun at Town Hall 16 than Town Hall 15. So I find this personally to be super interesting to see that this change is intentional, and obviously it has to take place over a long period of time in order to see the overall Town Hall meta, especially after a Town Hall has maxed. Think about all of those players out there that are upgrading their hog riders, right? They're trying to get to a higher level of attacking. Their skill is perhaps getting better. And then at the same time, you've got all of these players out there that are upgrading their defenses. And I just thought this was kind of a cool little thing to throw in to show every single level of Wizard Tower. But yes, so overall, the message in today's video is, well, the Clash of Clans team is saying, I meant to do that, right? Yeah, they're, they're saying that they intentionally made things easier. Now, I personally, as again, an average attacker, say, yes, I feel it, I am having more fun, and we'll talk about that more in depth in a future episode, but I'm curious what the average player thinks as well, because remember, the average player is a Town Hall 12, and now here we are, and we can take a look at a Town Hall 15 fail in the top left, and a Town Hall 16 crush in the center, and what I wanted to talk about here is how do you implement a pro mode or what the Clash of Clans team has described as, quote, different difficulty levels in the game? What, what the heck does that mean? How do you do that, right? How do you crank up all of the defenses, maybe? How do you change the hit points of attacking troops, remove certain, you can't really remove stuff, but right, that's where they're going to need to get creative. And this is the cool part, most of us, Never have to worry about that, because I'll be honest, I am never, ever going to play competitively. And let me just be honest, without trying to be too mean to the really skilled players that happen to be watching this video. For every one player that is out there saying, Oh man, this game's too easy. I'm going to quit because I attack every single base and crush it. And I always get my base crushed. I hate this game. I'm quitting. There's two players that are saying, Dude, did you see that attack, bro? Like, I totally three-starred that base, man. 
I am so freaking good at this game. <laughs> I, I mean, you get the point, right? So, yes, I think we have to think back to what George Carlin once said to paraphrase. Think of how stupid the average person is and then realize that half of the population is stupider than that. Okay, I think you guys are giving people too much credit for being good at this game. The average player, not that great. So, you know, making the game a little bit easier is going to be healthy for the game in the long run, and more active players means more revenue. That means a game that doesn't go away. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you, as always, for watching all the way to the end of the episode. Now get out there and make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and you'll be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. Come by at kick.com slash Galadon livestream, or I will see you again tomorrow for more full attacks. Donald, you making fun of my voice?